Hola. Hola, mi amigas. Welcome. Yes, Feliz uh, Cinco de Mayo. Bienvenidas. Bienvenidas. To a nuevo episode of, of Glitter, Gloom, Gluttony. Glitter, Gloom, Gluttony. It's Cinco de Mayo. Woo! Woo! What is it? Feliz, Feliz Cinco de Mayo. Cinco de Mayo. Hombres y hombritas. You know, I took a semester of high school Spanish. That was about it. I took it in sixth grade. Yep. Before we do anything, it's all about the margaritas. It is. Today yep. is margarita day. It's it Drinco is. de Mayo. It, it, what this is, is lemon sorbet. Oh, delicious. With some tequila poured on top. A little bit of triple sec. Muy fantastico. Mm -hmm. If you get too drunk, que lastima. I'm Cher. This is Carrie. Hola. Hola. There's not a Spanish version of Cher, so when I was in sixth grade Spanish, they made me go by the name of Eva. Mm -hmm. Oh, bueno. Muy bueno. Bueno. Glitter, glue, and gluttony, as you know, is a crafting slash snacking slash drinking, drinking show. Yes where we teach you that you too can make a wide variety of crafting items with little to no skill as long as you are drinking exactly. and eating at the same time. Because you know what? It doesn't have to be perfect, but it does have to be fun. Mmm. Mm. Delicioso. Okay, now that we've offended everyone, everyone who speaks Spanish, so sorry. Our craft today is the glorious piñata. We are oh, both here. Oh, 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 It's not that hard. It just takes a lot of time, and it takes a lot of uh, drying because it. There are like three layers of paper mache. Oh, look how cute that is! Isn't that adorable? This is Mr. Pig, and this is where you put jambon you know, in French. I don't know the jambon. Spanish. It's a, sure. <laughs> anyway, that's our pig pinata, and so basically, what you do is you take a balloon and you blow it up. If you can lift this. Un ballon. Yes, I don't know how to say it in Spanish or Chinese, but I learned all of my languages when I was a spy. You have a balloon, you take a cup of flour, just regular old all-purpose flour, and two cups of water, and that will make your paste. And this was something that I swear I remember doing once again in elementary school, but whenever I ask people if they've ever done this, they say no. Oh my god, Crest is on sale, two for five dollars. So, I mean, this is a great way to use your junk mail because I didn't even go out and get newspapers. I used my junk mail and like the Ellie Weekly after I read it. And so that's all you do. You just stick it on, you do a whole layer, and then you let it dry. If you, It's better to do it outside because it is kind of messy. And also on a beautiful day like today, it will dry in about an hour per layer. So if you do your layers, you get three layers and then you pop your balloon. I learned the hard way that you don't pop your balloon before your third layer is dry. Because That's why Mr. Pinata is a little deformed. He is a little deformed, but the best thing is is that no one is gonna know because basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna stuff it with stuff. Oh wait, we have people coming through again. So basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna put crepe paper all around this so you won't even know that it is deformed and people are going to hit it with a stick soon and all the little tiny bottles of booze are going to fall out. I know that for kids you put in candy, but for glitter glue and gluttony, you, up, kids. you put in booze. It's all about the beverage. I'm just going to prop this up in a bowl just so there's a solid base. And then we're just going to take crepe paper all pretty. It's a little windy outside. Again, the glory yep. of filming on location. And we're just going to randomly glue pieces of crepe paper around it. I will let Cher get to gluing. I will show you the snack for today. Um, we have easy nachos, which I like to call trailer park nachos, but you can call them what you like. They are easy nachos. You take a scoop 
by Fritos. You take the spoon and scoop some Fritos bean dip into it. And you put some salsa in it. Because it's a scoop. And then the magical can cheese. I loves me some can cheese. And then you beat it to share. Yum! Yum! When filming in a public park, it is good to know that there may be distractions. Now this pinata is starts out like this, and then all you do is you dip little pieces of colored tissue paper into the flour goo, and you just stick it. And it turns out, hello? <laughs> <laughs> this is our best episode usually, ever, people! Usually this happens because I've had too much to drink and it falls off. But now it's the wind. <laughs> best episode ever. ever! Love it! So, Need more drinkage. Basically all you do is you would wrap the tissue and whatnot around the pinata. <laughs> It's and a you know, in a circle, a it is. No, it's in El Nino, everyone. In honor of Cinco de Mayo. I lost you, man. Okay. <laughs> Sounds like you a colostomy it means, bag. Yes, it means what a pity. Oh, I also pity. know cuidado, piso mojado, which means look out, the floor is wet. <laughs> or cuidado, llamas, which means look out, there are llamas. Cuidado. Piñatas. Yes. Look out, there are piñatas. <laughs> Look out for the drunken people who are making piñatas. Let's let's say that we have made a piñata. Hey, I'm making hey. a piñata right. here. We're gonna take this one, maybe, because it's All already done. Right. I think it I already it still has well the balloon job. in it. Because what you do is, whoa, hey, that's never happened before. That's what she said. Okay, so. You take your balloon that you've built your pinata around, and this is now going to make a very frightening noise. Oh, it didn't. <laughs> you pop your balloon, let all the air out, say, excuse me, excuse me, and you'll hear it making all sorts of weird apocalyptic sounds inside. Like the entire Beautiful. inside of your pinata is falling out. Mm. Oh, pardon me. Excuse me. <laughs> hey, I've been eating the bean dip. You pull out your balloon, and there you have the pinata. Look at that! That's Look at that! But perhaps the hole is a little too small to fit your little bottles of booze in. So you can take your X-Acto knife, which I can only use under adult supervision. I am supervising. Don't run with scissors. But it doesn't even have to be pretty. It just needs to be big enough for your little booze bottles to fit in through. However, it's better if it's pretty. Everything's better Everything's if it's Everything's better pretty. if it's pretty. Look, booze bottle. So you put a booze bottle in, and in between layers, because you don't, you want to make sure that it doesn't all fall to the same place. You put bits you of gray paper right in it. <laughs> hey, I didn't get points for coordinate. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> sure. That's fabulous. Just put it all in. You have to the bottles so they don't break inside. Some are in plastic already. Right. And you can actually put other things in here like um, candy, candy, Taco Bell hot sauce. That's fantastic. I would think that the best thing you could do is fill a piñata with bottles of tequila, some whole limes, and some packets of taco sauce. And those little teeny tiny packages of salt. That's my streamers. Okay, right, paper, more. run away. Alright. All right. So basically, we have now stuffed our piñata. I think mine's beautiful. I think it's beautiful. <laughs> it's not exactly done yet, but even as is, look, festivo. I so, need some nachos. I'm hungered. I worked up, I worked up quite an appetite building my pinata. And then cheese, squeeze cheese, and it's amazing. Oh. Mm -hmm. Would you like a taste? Mm. Once you have filled your pinata with all of your amazing stuff, you just want to put some holes in it. And again, make sure an adult is watching because I'm not allowed to use sharp objects. At least the court order says so. Just make a couple holes. But what happens in Mexico stays in Mexico. See. So we won't tell. We will not tell. It's delicious. It is. 
And then you take whatever sort of ribbon or string you have sitting around. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie the string across the inside. And then we're going to tie it to a tree and hit it with a stick. Like you did That's with all. my oh, favorite part. Yes, that is the best part of pinatas. I love that little pig. Do you guys see the little pig? Isn't the pig cute? I I'm was so, little pig. I was very happy with the pig. Mr. Pig is so cute. I thought Mr. Pig was awesome. Um, and we're not going to break him right now. We're going to save him for a special occasion. And we're going to fill him with bacon. I love that. Because I was totally thinking, I want to fill the pig with bacon. These nachos are so good. Are they good? They're delicious. So basically what you do is you take your fantastic string and you tie it around. And then when you put it around the tree, you tie it again. And then you hit it with a stick. But it's nice if you put some... Uh, 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 cheese in a pan. You can either put more paper mache or you can just stick some stuff in it. Candy and things. Yeah, I mean, it just, you know, put tissue paper just so the hole's filled. Okay, um, now All we're right. gonna, through the magic of editing, we're gonna move to the pinata breaking station. You won't even know we're gone. All right, it's pinata time. Technically, for pinata smashing, you're supposed to wear a blindfold and spin around. Well, we're blind drunk. We're the same <laughs> thing. I'm really afraid she's gonna hit me with the back stick. away. From I'm also the really pinata. afraid because there are glass bottles in here and it could be very bad. Kids, do not try this at home. But if you do, tell your parents that we did not tell you to do it. One, two, two, three. three. Oh, <laughs> hooray! Oh, look. Look. <laughs> it's I'm like a winner. <laughs> Pinatas so much, especially when little bottles of booze fall out. Absolutely. Uh -huh. And the kids who are in the park, really, they stole my banana schnapps. They ran know. off with all of them. <laughs> Feliz Cinco de Mayo. Feliz Cinco de Mayo. Mi amigas. Mm -hmm. Have a happy Cinco de Mayo from sí. Glitter Glue and Gluttony. Stay glittery, Salud. my friends. Salud. Stay glittery.